Hello everyone, I hope you all are doing great as always. In today's video, I'll be showing you how to set up macros on your PS4 or PS5 controller using DS4 Windows. I'll leave you the download link down in the description below. So, first up, when you download the, the program, you may see it in a zipped file. You can unpack it using uh, WinRAR for an example. After that, after you open the folder, you'll see DS4 Windows.exe. You'll have to double click on it. And you may get a warning saying that you have to install the latest version of Net Framework. As soon as you press an OK, it'll lead you to the site where you can download the program from. And after that, after installing the program, you'll have to reopen these four windows. And then um, it'll ask you to install a driver named VGM and the first option. So you click on install and go through the installation process. And after that, click on close. And now you can access the program. So I have that all already done. Um, that's an update version. You can skip it or install it. Um, so after that, after your controller is labeled and one, you have to click on edit. And then from here, you have to choose like, um, which button do you want to use as a macro for, so for example, I'll use R1 as a macro, and then you click on record the macro. So I have one already made. I'll just make it from um, the start. So when you want to clear a macro, you just like press on clear and that's it. So to record a macro, um, you have to click on record delays so that it records the delay between um, each time you press on the button. Or you can like adjust it manually, but it'll be hard. So you click on record delays and then record. After you, after you click on record, you have to um, press on the buttons on your controller to make a macro. Uh, so for an example, I make one like this. And then after you finish, just click, don't, don't uh, click on any or uh, press on any more buttons on your controller. That's just the ones that you want to set as a macro. And then click on stop and then save. Then go to your game and test your macro, the R1 that we set. Um, if it works perfectly, if it works as intended, then you press on save. So that every time, um, so that you don't have to make a macro every time you uh, restart DS4 or your computer. And that's it. If you have any more questions, you can leave me a comment down in the comment section below or you can join my Discord server. And also don't forget to subscribe to my channel. It really means me a lot. See ya.